Hi, my name is Pete Grostick, and I'd like to show you Texas Instruments emulator software for the TI-84 Plus. It's called SmartView. Now as SmartView is opening, let me share with you some of the goals of this training video. I am assuming that viewers of the video already know how to use the basic functions of a graphing calculator. So, the video is aimed more to show teachers and students how the SmartView software can aid in instruction and learning and not simply how to use a graphing calculator. It should be noted for teachers that SmartView partners beautifully with the interactive whiteboard. I want you to imagine that every mouse click that I make is actually being done by my finger or a stylus pen in front of a room full of students. And I hope you can see how powerful this software can be. Okay, as it opens on the left, you'll see a TI-84 Plus graphing calculator displayed. It has all the capabilities of an actual TI-84 Plus. On the right, you can see a large screen that shows key press history. This allows viewers to see and possibly copy keystrokes being made without stopping the instructor if they fall behind. If you don't want to use the key press history, you can click large screen and it simply shows an enlarged view of the calculator. Now in between there are three screens, equation, table, and graph. Let me show you how these can be helpful. I can type in an equation like y equals 3x plus 2 and then quit back to my computation screen. Now if I hit enter, the displays will update. And as you can see, the equation, a table of values, and the graph are all displayed. This feature allows users to work on applications involving the equation y equals 3x plus 2 without having to bounce back and forth between screens. Now the user has the option to display other screens. For example, if I go to view options, I can change the equation screen to the scatterplot screen, the table to my list, and the grass screen to the window range. And there they are. This may be helpful if I'm doing scatter plots instead of graphs of equations. If these three displays aren't needed for a particular lesson or problem, the user can remove them by clicking the cube in the toolbar. This could be helpful if the user has a large audience and wanted to increase the screen size. Now the large screen can be re removed as well by clicking the screen button in the toolbar. This can be helpful if the rest of the computer screen is being utilized to view or work through a problem. Now I'm going to click create script to show you how you can record keystrokes. This can be a great tool for presentations. If I click record, SmartView will record every keystroke that I make. So. I'll clear out y equals 3x plus 2 and type in a new equation to graph, this time a quadratic. I'll graph, then I can hit stop. And now I can move on to another problem. When I'm ready, I'll go back to my script and I can press play. SmartView highlights each keystroke that I made when creating the script. If I want to, I can save the script. I can also slow down the playback speed by dragging the toggle from fast to slow. Now another option that SmartView offers is the ability to save the state of your emulator. This is under the file menu. I'm going to load the state of my smart view from earlier today.
This means that any equation, any graph, and any computations that I had in my emulator when I hit save earlier today will be loaded back to the emulator. Now is a good time to tell you that your processing speed of your computer can really make or break the use of this software. A slow computer makes for a slow lesson. Now when I open my loaded emulator state, SmartView will ask if I want to save the emulator's current state before switching to the loaded one. I'm going to show you a graph that I use to introduce quadratics to students. There's the quadratic. I'll turn my graph on and hit graph. This is a quadratic equation graph that looks like a free throw being made through a basketball hoop. It can be done using a quadratic equation as well as a scatter plot. This can be a great way to engage students before you start a lesson on quadratics. Often I'll use something like this at parent-teacher conferences or an open house to show the types of hands-on activities that kids will be using in my class. Now, this is the state of the calculator that I use most often. I like the large screen so that students can see what I'm doing from the back of the class. I'm going to minimize this and work on some more problems. I hope you enjoyed this tool on Texas Instruments emulator software.